Hi, gorgeous woman, Sophie Musumeci here from Real Entrepreneur Women, wanting to introduce you to our beautiful client, Maz, who is an energy healer. Oh my goodness, her story is so inspirational and I want to share that with you so that you can have a look and see what's possible when you take incredible action. So Maz, hi, do you want to introduce yourself and share with us a little bit about what you do and how transformational it is for your clients? Hey Sophie, thanks for having me. <laughs> um, so I'm an author, healer and coach. Basically what I do is I just help people heal from their past, remove any blockages, whether it's like subconscious, conscious, energetic blocks that's holding them back um, from being able to transform and live their lives in alignment, basically. And you haven't always done this though. Do you want to share a little bit about what kind of brought you through to this journey and ultimately into our world where you were looking at support to grow your business? Well, if I can try to make a long story short, I, in my teenager, teenage years, well, I was born into poverty. So I was born in the Philippines, third world country, 14, found myself living on the streets throughout my childhood and teenage years, a lot of trauma, sexual abuse, all sorts of things. And then lots of toxic relationships just one cycle after another was addicted to drugs depression eating just disorder, literally anything you can think of that could be wrong with someone I've had <laughs> almost and um it just got to a point where um I started questioning life and what I wanted to do and I just had this calling where I just knew I didn't go through all that just to suffer. And I was meant to go through all that to help people. I just had this calling that I just knew I had to help people. And in a selfish way, it would also make me feel like all of that was worth it. If I could help someone else, then me going through that was worth it, you know? Um, so I just always had that path. And then I started learning about the law of attraction, manifestation, went on my own healing journey. And then in terms of business, um, I guess I wasn't even looking for a business coach, as you know, when I found you. Um, again, law of attraction was at its force and they just, I had the intention out to the universe of I need to be doing this full time. I need to be serving more people. I need to quit my full time job. Um, and then I don't, I can't even remember how I got onto you, but I wasn't searching for a business coach at the time. And then we had that conversation and yeah, what, three weeks later, I quit my full time job. <laughs> Sure did. I mean, when you back now to where you are versus where you were and how you grew up, what do you believe was one of the, you know, I'm sure there's more than one, but what do you believe was one of the core decisions or things that you did that allowed you to move forward um, to create this incredible business, serving beautiful clients, doing what you love? Um, actually, that's a good question because I just did a live yesterday. There's two things. And the thing is I actually had this conversation with myself yesterday being like, what was the pattern? What got me to here? How did I go from homeless to being able to help people and doing my passion full time? Like what was the pattern? And there was two things. And one was instead of believing that story and what we can see with our human eye, because yeah, you might be in a place where you're struggling to pay bills, you're living in the lack, life is hard, you've had trauma, whatever. We all have problems and I'm not discounting that, but each and every one of us have problems. If we were starting to list it, we'd have a huge list. Um, and it was instead of looking at that, being like, what can I do to make what I want happen? Just like one thing and just following that one step and it's one step at a time and then the universe kind of, adds more steps when you're coming from a place of faith rather than fear. The right mentors, aka you, the right people, things will show up to help guide you. But if I was in that lack mentality and just feeling sorry for myself, even if you did come into my life, I probably would be like not trusting of you and just miss that opportunity. Um, and the other thing is gratefulness. And like it doesn't matter like what it is, just being grateful for what you have because the universe is like our best friend. Like if we're grateful, it wants to give, give us more. And if we're like, you know, not grateful for everything that we have, which if you really think about what we have now, we have a lot. If you can eat and you've got a roof over your head, it's a lot more than so many other people. 
And I've always been grateful, even when I was living on the streets, I remember like if I would eat, even to this day, every meal, if it's really delicious, I take a moment and just show that gratitude. And like the universe responds to that once you're grateful, you know, they're like your best friend being like, all right, I want to be your, I want to keep being your best friend kind of thing. Yeah, they love the energy that it comes back as well. Uh, very wise words there, um, Maz, for sure, around being grateful and really taking that leap. My sneezing under the table. She's got allergies, who knows? Um, what's it really like, Baz, on the inside of the Wealthy Born Mastermind? Like, what's it really like to work with me and the team? Be honest, what's it like? I love it. Like, I had no idea. Dear, I would step it, that kind of world exists. And when I say that, because I'm such a big believer of manifestation, the law of attraction, spirituality, and I just never blended that with business. You know, you think a business coach is just business. And I think like watching your videos at the beginning, you just spoke to my soul and I really, really resonated with that, you know, and I could tell it was like heartfelt and it came from your heart. It came from your soul, which attracted me in and then stepping into the wealthy women and like watching your lives, being in the meetings, hearing how your team and everyone speaks. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? Why are we talking about manifestation? Well, I was just like in heaven. And I was like, this is so my jam. Like I'm in the right place. If I had to ask for any kind of business mentor, like I found the right one. So it's been amazing. <laughs> I remember your post the first day that you're in the group in, inside the program because we have a support group in there. So all of our clients are in together, which is great. They get to see and grow and learn together. But I remember one of your first posts was like, oh, my God, I'm in the, I'm in the right place. And then you quit your job. Tell us a little bit about um, what's business been like. So you were in a full time job, quit it and all in on your business. Share, just share some of the wins because there are so many, right? <laughs> it's been a journey. <laughs> um, I had no idea I was going to quit my job. I did not save for it. As you know, I wasn't even looking for a business mentor. Um, I literally was earning double six figures doing what I was doing and helping people on the side. You came along and what, it was three weeks in working with you and I just made what, what was that? Six and a half K in cash, in cash. And I was like, if I can do this in a few weeks of just starting with you, I can do this over and over again. Again, coming from that mentality of what can I do rather than the luck and coming from that fear. And I was like, all right, done. And I just kind of took that leap without really thinking about it and just going with my intuition and my gut, not knowing what the outcome was. As soon as I did that, I did have a bit of a freak out and I had to basically coach myself like I coach my clients because I was like oh my god what I just do I didn't say for this I don't have oh my god like you know your ego mind gets in the way and I like I don't have a big list of clients like I'm starting from scratch what am I doing like doing all those stories and then pulling myself up coaching myself through that <laughs> and then like coming in from the fact of faith and just knowing that this is what I know I need to do and what I should be doing, what my sole mission is and that the universe will provide. You've got the strategies, we've got that. And so I just took everything that you showed me and I created my own spin as well and my own little touches to make it my own. So it came from my heart and soul rather than robotic, but took like the templates of your strategies. And now it's what well, fast forward now, I'm like, I'm now at 27 one-on-one -on -one clients just this year alone um and my two events this month have just sold out my very first event I had sold out so all my events sold out I've got another one I'm setting up before the next one happens next weekend um what else just yeah lots of clients my calendar is actually booked I can't even take on any more clients this month I actually had to say that yesterday to everyone and it's just been overwhelming and the thing is I don't feel like I work because I love what I do. Isn't that the dream, right? You've got this gift, you've got this passion and you have this light, Maz, and you have hit on so many really important things around taking a leap of faith and really trusting yourself. And it's normal to get some fear and to get some, oh my goodness, what am I doing? But as coaches, we've got to remember to actually coach ourselves through that as well. Um, looking back at what you have done, being able to achieve and grow into, and I love that as well, making it your own. So we have a very, a process, a step-by-step, -step, a pathway. We have 
templates, resources, so you can you don't have to worry about what you just follow the process. But then you take that and you make that your own, and that's what you've done. How does that feel? Have you have you really looked back around how you completely transform your life in only a few short months? It feels amazing. I only just actually it was just yesterday again. I had a moment where I just stopped and looked at how far I've come in these few short months, and I actually had a bit of a cry of gratitude because <laughs> I was like, "Holy crap! <laughs> uh, like, look what I've done!" And it's it's only the beginning. Like, it's only the beginning. And like, I know to the outside, it might look like everything just falls into my lap easily and stuff. And it kind of does, but in a way it wasn't always easy. I've had to coach myself. I've had to work through my fears and blocks, you know, and put myself out there and do things that were uncomfortable and really push myself. Because if you want to be better, you need to be better and match that person that has what it is you want mm -hmm. so yeah it's been a journey but yeah I'm so I'm so happy and you're literally like I tell you all the time how blessed I am to have cross paths with you <laughs> oh we feel the same way there's nothing that excites us more than watching someone that has so much potential to believe in it for themselves because that's where the true transformation comes when you believe in it because we can show you a pathway we can help you with your messaging and sales but ultimately that belief has to come from you and, and that's what you've done. So it brings us just as much joy, probably if not more, because this is us living our purpose, right, as what you're doing. Um, so if someone was watching this right now and they're considering or they're looking around or they're on the fence about getting support and working with us, what would you, what would you say to them if you could? What I'd say is how much do you really want that business how much do you really want success and how much do you want to stumble and take your time trying to figure it out spending years doing that on your own or why not be and be with someone that's proven over and over and over again and only getting bigger I'm proud of you as well Sophie you, like even that short time that I've been with you I've watched you ex like your growth accelerate too so I've always believed find if you want something find someone that knows has that has that thing that you want and learn from them the one that resonates with you you know um and I say don't question just the only question you need to ask is how much do you want it and if the answer is a lot you really want this then take the leap you have nothing to lose Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Mads, for sharing not only your transformation with everyone, but also such beautiful and important information and vision around what's possible. Um, and back yourselves, ladies. Like, if you want to change your life, the only person that can do that is you. So go all in. Thank you so much, Mads. Lots and lots of love to you. And I know we'll be speaking very, very soon again. Any, any last words? Are you done? Thanks, no. Sophie. <laughs> Bye, sweetheart. Thank you.